so that you can make a with Jada. Right. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Fantastic93 FM. FM. And <laughs> be sure to follow us on Instagram and on TikTok at Fantastic Friends. Should make a little thing that you know, like a little thing. Don't always make Fantastic Friends. Mm. Okay. <laughs> And be sure to always take your mental health thing. That day is wrapping up. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so, number six. So, today we're actually discussing 10 things to do before you reach 30. The big tree. And we're now at number... 31? Six. <laughs> Anyways. I don't you up. need a mental health thing. I do. I actually do. I need a week or a month. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so number six is, is build an emergency fund. Should we like be working first? Were they working or not? You should Did have it. one. Alright, so very important. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're halfway through the list, be ready to embark on our thrilling adventure of building an emergency fund. But nothing can scream excitement like financial responsibilities. Yay! Mm -hmm. Jokes, anyways. So, <laughs> so imagine this: you're going about a day, and all of a sudden you have a flat tire, or something drastic happens, and you have to end up in the hospital, or you have unexpected bills. Surprise, surprise! You had probably over budget on some things, and in your current account you have no money. Well, no worry, your emergency trust fund is here. So think of it as almost like a Batman here Gotham, Gotham City. I've been watching a lot of cartoons, guys. But anyways, mental health. <laughs> My Looney Tunes are working. So channel your inner financial gardener and start planting those money seeds. So in the grand scheme of life, building an emergency fund is like building a sustainable safety net. So it's your financial guardian agent and maybe your chance to financial free. Who knows? My question is emergency for now. The what if their life is an emergency? No. But just are they every day? <laughs> <laughs> it's no. just an emergency. You have to reevaluate that. Is this thing? No, you have to reevaluate <laughs> that. You have to hide money from yourself. Like, you have to tell yourself something to have. Like, you have a little emergency for you to say something to have. Because really, actually, we keep troubling it. You know? Well, what, what you tell yourself you don't do. have any money. What, yeah. What I do, I have an account that I can transfer it to online. Mm. Uh huh. But I can't withdraw from it on my mm. after going to the bank. That kind of so deter you from the energy. Right. So that, that is that have been three months pay. Mm. Right. Also that deters you from actually bank, going yeah, you in. Look at the bank say wait to not check it that right. You know, honestly, <laughs> I was in a I was they in a were. meeting yesterday and that's the same thing it was a financial wellness meeting and I'm mm -hmm. thinking about inviting him on the show because he dropped some gems. And he spoke about this exactly. He was like that emergency fund. Um, because we're we're asking questions about like investments and stuff like that before you go into any Definitely. form of investment. You got to you have need to save. You have to have a kitty. And uh, before you a, a even get into saving, you can't have savings and end up emergency fund. Mm -hmm. So well, step one is emergency fund, and well, that was his thing. He was saying that having an account, you don't have easy access to. So make 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 you have to have to do work. Yeah. If you can get money outside, mm -hmm. you have to go to the establishment. You have to probably send an email or two plus got some additional verification. Make it difficult because it's gonna deter you. Yeah. Got me? You can transfer. Like me? I, I, I would have a JMB account, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Do you want a, a debit card?" No. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. Though, yeah, like you can easily draw from the ATM. Nope, I don't you want that. You should be able to have access to it. No, you have access, but it takes effort because right. there's. It depends yeah. on what you deem. Yeah. Emergency. Emergency. Yeah. I think it's happening live. Like, so we're going to the food court, all right? So, with five bills shot, mm. that's just an emergency. And you yeah, buy something cheaper. Yeah. Or you don't buy nothing at all. But not only that, Kimmy, you see, the emergency fund, Jada, is when you have a real emergency. Serious emergency. Now, when we say real emergency, those things are not necessarily that something you have to pay for No. Yeah. You get me? Okay. So, you, therefore, after you have that emergency fund, mm -hmm. you start saving, and then okay. in your saving, you have a re an emergency threshold. So therefore, for example, in your savings account, bank will tell you say about this, for example, they have accounts like this where they said the account balance should not go below 30000 You need to make yourself a quota for your bank account. So that way, 
when you have those pop-up emergencies that you need a quick access to, you get that. But then now the bigger emergency fund Health when like you have a hospital bill for to take care of them kind of thing. Emergency. Mm-hmm. Okay, well yeah, because MV was talking earlier. Right. So so this kind of emergency mm-hmm. fund is not for medical issues. For medical issues you need life insurance and health insurance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not different from an emergency fund. Mm-hmm. Your emergency fund is if you lose your source of income. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the only purpose of your emergency. So basically, so then it's your, your backup funds. Then. No, it can so really actually, because that's what I'm it's thinking. It's a rainy day. Yeah. It's yeah, but if you lose it's emergency. Shop. Yeah, because that's not really it's, an emergency. It's, just, it's basically your, all right, let me call it, it's basically your trust fund. No, no, no. I say it's what I understand, but really and truly, when Jamaicans say emergency fund or something, when they use, yeah, when in, they need to pay for a bill. Of- Something like, but you really mean like a, a safety net this, or, or a safety net is the word. In something the if you lose your job. World. So in the world of finance, mm. they refer to as emergency fund. Mm. It's money saved up, up like a, 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 as I said, three, three months. months yeah, know that months pay. I can mm-hmm. even push it to a year. Yeah, you keep on if going. You lose, say emergency fund is how long can you survive after without an active year? job? Yeah, mm. or, or even just quitting then. Yeah. And you know, one of the things you know, you did highlight that, and he was saying most people always believe that it's about three to six months things. At first, it's not three months pay, it's three months worth of expenses, three to six months worth of expenses. And then, secondly, um, it ties into what you said earlier about side versus additional right. income because you said that amount changes if you have more streams of income. If you only have one source of income, just three to six months is your right. Also, if you have dependents, that changes. If you have a child in the picture, it's no longer three to six months. You times that by three. Because right. now that's a different dynamic that you can't really put a set amount for. Right? If you because don't have dependents any time. and kids are just a bill by themselves. Right? right? Mm-hmm. And you're sending more streams of income. The sh- you don't have to have a six month and 12 month plan because you have more money hours of come. You already have right. Uh, right at that point because it's not know that you're going to have an excessive because he said an emergency fund should be kept a certain amount and you just leave that there don't touch don't it, touch it. Right. and then at that point now if you do have excessive money instead of extending the emergency fund exactly. he said that's when you start to diversify your portfolio because he said you don't necessarily have the money just blow the money not doing nothing you and the bank should now accumulate it something should be accumulated he said the banks give up at most one percent if you're lucky hey, by the I end saw, of the year i saw two cents go on my money yeah. <laughs> right and you're bracket two cents <laughs> Bra- that's crazy right no, no, no i'm sorry i apologize i apologize to the bank i saw five cents ah. go on my money that's uh-huh. good but then i saw three <laughs> cents out of the five go to fees and that's exactly that's so true. the balance is two cents so that's why each month i get two cents on my emergent well in an emergent fund. i go i get two Two cents on my savings, uh, my investment. Savings. Yeah, you just see it in a couple two of decades. But, okay. <laughs> but I liked that. So I like that you tie it into what you're just saying. Mm-hmm. So I actually would love to carry him on the show one day. I really hope we get him at the time because he dropped some gems. So that's what I'm going to drop. Huh? I do need mm-hmm. money management tips and hope yeah, we Especially about 2024. Bank, because trust me, that year, yeah, one of the main things we need to do, people, make sure, say, the bank account at home. Financial security. Something I go about your life. Mm-hmm. We're not stagnant. We're not going that down. way. We're not talking about the belly. Right. But that can't go down. I'll let you. All right. Number seven. Learning basic cooking skills and creating maybe a signature dish. No, this one like a personal thing, Jada. Look by it. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, God, we kind of have an idea. Of Anyways, this is for people before them reach thirty. I wish I had it. As we were saying, <laughs> so it is time to liberate yourself from the shackles of kitchen confusion and free up environment. Up Hashtag free up this gen. Body up food. Hashtag save the toast. And the shackles of what? Bun in a bun food. food. Yeah. Hashtag save the toast. But sometimes it's a food I like a bun bun in Tamara toast. Yeah. Yeah. I like a zest. But no, the party. levels of bun are okay. Give me a while, some toast. But it's Camille Farage bun bun that bun. Saturday, embrace the culinary chaos. I think that's a new chaos. one. I think that's polenta. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's polenta. <laughs> that's jerk polenta. Fried <laughs> Farage. Yeah. 
tried polenta. That's what it's <laughs> like. It's the bottom of the pot. We don't change. <laughs> porridge bun 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 Yeah, they were peanut porridge bun No That's fried no, no, no. Fried nuts That's crispy fried You know what's up when I come to the bun When I Not accepting it oh, <laughs> When I see the porridge Coffee porridge Easter They're not accepting anyway. it Come to the bun So learning basic cooking skills Isn't just about avoiding being You know, avoiding burnt toast And if you have burnt toast before You're not a real chef um, I don't think that's so. It is a boat. <laughs> I don't think that's a measuring stick. Yeah. I mean, but a starting point for some, yeah, shit. No, we're not gonna be able to do it because you start with oxtail. Like nobody leads. Nobody leads with that. So if you say that, yeah. this, yeah. you. this is not you. This is not for you. We can have a bite to try. Anyways, it, 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 it is about unveiling your inner chef. So let's start with the basics. Boiling water. Can't judge me. Once you have conquered yes. that, <laughs> mental <laughs> health. <laughs> right. she's, come a, she's come up far. I will. Mr. Oxdale, <laughs> judging. <laughs> judging. Judging. I will. Like a curry shrimp. No, no, no. Everything you cook the same way. Though. Everything where you stew. You saute. Um, Guys, I, I have a story to no, tell you. Usually, MB, there's a different trip. Like, the cleaning up is a bit different. So, yeah, we follow the basics. Yeah, boy, I like this idea. Mm. Why? We need to have a once a month cooking session with MB. MB. Well, listen, <laughs> guys, I have a story to tell. So, for the new year, I have decided to take on cooking as something that I personally want to, not to cook for anybody in my household, yeah, but just to learn. Right. Oh, yeah. I want to learn. So, <laughs> my uncle is great. Who's going to test my uncle? So he comes in from town every now and again. Okay, I do a look at prayer meeting. Where? Go. <laughs> Ask if the man have life insurance. Move. Move like, up. The man have made sure it's every good. Yeah. So. Oh, it's a concert. He comes in, but he's in the kitchen when I'm doing the stuff. So he doesn't just leave me and gone. I'm going to be fine for myself. So he comes in and he taught me. So earlier in the year, probably like our own second or the third, we were cooking from last year, actually. We started cooking we started with cornmeal porridge. We started with cornmeal porridge, and I did it the first time. It was a bit watery, but he said it was good. My mom said, "Yeah, man, it was good. Just you know, work on the consistency." So when he was coming over again, we did it again, and he said, hey, "This time, consistency was great." You know, my mom is not a my mom's not a sweet person, so it couldn't really too sweet like that. Cause yeah, you usually yeah, leave that to the people. Yeah, leave sweet, that to sweet to taste. Right, so however you like. But he said it was very good, you know, consistency wise, and I knew when to 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 start mix it, turn it down, and mix it. And he said, "Yo, the, down, mix it until and when you're pouring in your corn, you mix it, mix it, mix it, because mm-hmm. you don't want it lumpy. Yeah. And if it's lumpy, you're going to take a good while to come out and and try and fix all of that." The next thing we had cooked was salt mackerel. We cooked salt mackerel. Never have uh, the coconut milk. We didn't have coconut milk. We had that the powder. Rundown. The rundown part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we never, that's why it was salt mackerel. Okay. Okay. So, so we had that and it wasn't that bad. We did dumpling. I like how he does his dumpling. You know, roll it somewhere. It's fancy. That's all you roll it. You know, and then look like they're going to stone dog. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It looks like you could have busted, right, but right, they, taste, they, they taste good. I'm going to recommend a YouTube channel then, since I'm going on a cooking journey. Mm-hmm. It's Morris Time Cooking, right. aka MV's Time Cooking. Morris Time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see you know, it. I see time. Page, yeah. I learned to cook KFC barbecue chicken. Really from and there? And, 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 and MV can't dumpling. get Jada the ticket to learn for fried dumpling. And I'm not eat, a yes, fried and, dumpling person. And, yeah, but uh, he did say he can use it as well. I know. So, okay. Yeah, with you, uncle, you some yeah, fried uncle one day. One day, you know, I'm coming over. Like, um, oh, no, I'm a dumpling. 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 i am a dumpling i am a dumpling i Repass, that's what you call it, right? The repass, and he accidentally put cinnamon in it by accident. I'm like, but this tastes good. Like, <laughs> cinnamon. <Wait. goat. laughs> 
no one cinnamon can go in for <laughs> yeah. a little no, but it, like if you said, it was probably like an accident. You could actually taste it, but so you probably like, think of the curry and throw it some cinnamon. It tastes good. If it tastes good, I'm not gonna lie to you. Something That's why you know you're a chef and you make accent. And it does just taste accent. right. It's something to me. My father, I, I think. Yeah, that's you know. yeah, why you know. My father was a chef. My father just be putting anything in the kitchen. Like, no, when I admire, I want my to be the chef. I want to be the chef that doesn't taste their food. My dad, he doesn't eat pork or certain things. But when they cook it for you, they don't taste well, nothing, yeah, but like it's shot. Okay. Okay. So as I said, let's start with the basics by boiling water. So once you have conquered that, you'll be moving on to the other extra. Boiling water, you tell them to start with. <laughs> that is what so you were art- saying earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so the art of chopping up vegetables without losing a finger. So much finger have left. Vegetables. You chop, but you know, you know, watch those videos and they. That's where you're moving to. You're moving to become a maestro. No, you're not I would, yeah. Yeah, I would leave that for last. Yes. Like, <laughs> that's only last. if you're going to like a restaurant <laughs> work. You don't need to say that. That's where you point where you just think the vegetables and eat it. Fruit ninja. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was it. You probably need a finger. Especially if you have to be alone. <laughs> I'm gonna need my fingers for good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now on to creating your signature dish. So there might be a few casual t- casualties on the way. You know, as I said, I'm burnt toast are too, or you might cut your finger here and there, and you might even over season the food. But hey, those are battle scars and proof that you have ventured into the food battlefield and live to tell the tale. So Turn that apron, brandish your spatula as a sword, and let the culinary es- escapades begin. Learning to cook is not just a survival skill, it's a journey of self discovery and trying new and delicious foods as long as you cook it right. Mm-hmm. And so, what's one your last thing? Well, and if you plan to diet, or as the rest of us say, live it, mm-hmm. um, knowing how to cook it. Okay, my signature dish is ramen with egg, Korean style. Actually, I don't have a learned how to eat. I don't have a signature dish. You need to get a signature dish. (coughs) My signature dish is is chicken in coconut um, garlic sauce. Alright, so my thought is chicken. Alright, my signature dish (coughs) is Um. reggae jamming (laughs) grilled chicken burger topped with fried lettuce with cheese. And Brunei sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. <laughs> Number eight. Practice, practice mindfulness and meditation. So it is very much important to have a mental health day. So you hear them joking about it along the way, guys. Guys, it's very important that you take a stop, decompress, and try to recuperate. Try to set the day. I heard that you actually have personal days. or some office that gives personal days for you to... Whatever you have it to do, you get a personal day. And then free you when you take it. <laughs> That's what they do. If you get sick days, so when you get sick... Mm, why you sick days? <laughs> oh, it's yeah. just how the work You're is. sick? You're not coming in? You why? want us to put this as a sick day? Why? <laughs> how dare you get sick? But it's Crazy. a part of one of the things that you actually are, are, are entitled to. Yeah. And then when you but don't you're take judged. It, no. Well, the sick days are going to go. They're so. there and you're going to lose it. It's yeah. not our fault you didn't yeah. take it. Too bad. Uh, you can't win. You can't win. Yeah. So incorporate <laughs> mindfulness practice in your daily routine to reduce stress and enhance overall well-being, especially living in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Apps, guided sessions, or local classes can help you get started into your mindfulness journey and help you to meditate. Relax those brain muscles and start with a few minutes a day. Think of it as a warm-up of your mind. So it is like spending your thoughts or sending your thoughts to a peaceful boot camp where they come back all well-centered and calm. Mm-hmm. Guided, guided videos. Oh, you. Guided videos. No, you are kept <laughs> I don't remember Ace Ventura. Anyway, <laughs> you saw that Catholic but Church a while ago. I know, but that's probably Ace Ventura. You know, watch that. Too. Yeah, I yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 But anyway, mm. there's a lot of guided meditation videos on YouTube. Everything they find on the internet, and you can start with that. 
So, people, anything you want to learn, well, safe things that you want to learn, yeah, feel free to check them out. Take out that little video, watch out here. Yeah. You want to relax your mind? Don't relax your mind. Yeah, and, and to add to Jada's um, tip number seven about the cooking thing, you can give yourself a weekly challenge. So, like every weekend, you probably do research in the week to find out mm -hmm. something you want to cook new. Right. And I say, if you don't really want anybody there, if you don't want nobody really judge you too hard, right. whatever, YouTube has everything. And you can take yourself out right, every Sunday, you're going to try something new. Yeah. You know, whether it's fried dumpling, whether every, just give yourself a timeline and mm -hmm. every week you try something new. By the end of the year, that's 52 new things that you learn. My mom has well, tried. I cook, or I tried. Well, let's, let's say 50. 50. Because I wouldn't recommend doing it. Why? Why? Brain is a muscle. So, I mean, um, once a week is not crazy. Once, once a week. A week mm -hmm. And then, I guess so you can try to get in the middle of the week. But your challenge is every, every week. Yeah, so, so what I'm saying but is, 50 if you get, let's say, back to week. You do something, you do it twice. You feel it? Well, no, and then you, you reach week 52. That, that week one, the gun out of you. And here's the thing, MV. You will have other days in the week. That so you're going to try it again. Not, it's no longer so a new like thing. A one so you can do it on a Tuesday now. Exactly, but that's what I'm getting at. You Saturday try one new day. thing. You so try one thing, but you don't mean you're not going to try them again. You're not trying next week Thursday. You put nine middle of March. All right, so number nine. You know your catalog. Number nine. Number nine, it's so fine. Watch right, so attend attend a major cultural or sporting event. So fling yourself in a some excitement. I'm done. Oh, well, you have to fling yourself in there. I'm done. You have to fling yourself. Just toss yourself responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell this generation. That. Well, so immerse yourself in the energy of some significant events. So whether it's a music festival, sports championship, or cultural celebration. It provides memorable experiences and an opportunity to connect with like-minded individuals. So grab a ticket, dress up, and go out and enjoy the cultural festivities that Jamaica or other countries have to offer. Create everlasting memories. Be sure to get it done. Everlasting? Mm -hmm. Something I can't even tell you. I think myself for um, mm -hmm. Open um, mm -hmm. Olympics um, stage. <laughs> you should sing yourself into it. So yeah, when, like, one, when, run, when one of my run, it's like I fling myself. Oh, you sure? That's the Olympics. Oh, okay. Olympics. I know. That's what I'm saying. Olympics. Oh, I'll wow. be flinging myself out there. Yeah, girl, Summer, the chili. Summer's going to be hot. Well, well, all right, remember, let me tell you this. When you have to fling yourself out there, fling yourself into Shakari. <laughs> I didn't say that. I want you guys to know the voice difference. Shakari, I'm coming up. Fling yourself in a free. No, no, but I'm flinging yourself in a shelly. No, I'm not going to do that. So when they're dick old, they're dick too. I'm not going to do that. Jamaican for that. So, make the girl in my story in Jamaican is different this year. No, we don't do that. No, we don't do that. If we are lose with our friends, we are run with best. And we are win something. Come out. We are going to Olympic town to make some shock of everything. No! Make sure every story is sitting alone too. Don't choose Jada with number 10. I can't be a part <laughs> Number 10 Build a professional online presence So building a professional online presence Is like crafting your digital superhero identity So be ready to be loose to, to be ready with To be loose? <laughs> she never done the word Oh okay Can I say that? That's so professional Be yes. ready with the elusive headshot oh, photos <laughs> People these are not the facts. <laughs> who are who are these people thinking? So, are composing a compelling bio, being less drama centered and more career oriented. So, showcase your skills, accomplishments, sprinkle in you know how that's your personality. Sprinkle, too. sprinkle, and go make connections, right, Kim? I agree. Social media is not just about memes and the viral videos or musical clash, but it can build meaningful and so powerful <laughs> branding connections. Establish yourself as an expert or at least someone who knows the difference between there and there. True. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> polish up that LinkedIn profile, strike a headshot pose. You know, you can go to brands or anywhere else and let the viral networking extravaganza begin. Or contact Fresh Concepts JA at right, Fresh Concepts JA on all social media platforms. Being a professional online, no, building your professional online presence isn't just a chore, it's your ticket to digital success. And we're not talking about OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. 
okay, your other devices um, that you can use, such as your so, laptop, your tablet. A strong, a strong online presence can enhance your career prospects and attract opportunities and facilitate meaningful connections within your or other industries. And those are 10 things to do before the age of 30. So, you guys like did you mention learn to drive? So we are to work on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. So, I said because Jada, Jada is probably a passenger princess. I am. She never finished it. I am. <laughs> no. All right, people. So, if you have some views, you got some comments, you got some feedback, drop them on the IG live, drop them on the WhatsApp line, 876-792-3530. So, what one of the points that you um, have um, heard, Kimmy Kim, that you need to drop on your list? Um, you know, even though you might be probably close to 30 now or on the market. Why is it scandalous? <laughs> well, for me, the emergency fund thing had stuck out to me because mm. I don't have one. Mm. Um, so I did, and that's from the meeting I had earlier this week. So I did have that on my personal list of things to do. Mm. And the advice that was shared with us was just like we tithe. Um, he had said the Bible also says you must actually technically tithe to yourself as well, right? Mm-hmm. So save 10% of, of what you earn. Yeah, every time. Mm-hmm. And you'll be surprised how much it, it accumulates to. So, since that is my personal goal, starting this pay period coming up, um, I, you know, put that out to others if they want to join that. So, that's my personal thing I'm going to work on. Well, just to add, while doing this list, there are other things here. As you said, learning how to drive because it's before you mm-hmm. reach 30. So, they wanted to ensure that, you know, you were well equipped to, like, move from one place mm-hmm. to, you know. Yeah, it helps with your independence. Yeah, even just getting into a, a whole fitness regimen, that is essential. Right. That's something that a lot of us, I wish we had learned it from when we were younger. But you see, like, you plant certain seeds and often we're still doing them. That's mm-hmm. one of the things I think that parents need to ingrain in kids. Right. So, by the time they're older, it's not something that, it's just, like, natural. It's not yeah. something for go to your way to. So I need learn, to exercise. I need to, yeah. Uh, get cut. No, just, just, just like how we teach kids so things many other things. Extracurricular activities. Get them involved in though. I wish we would do more of that because well, it becomes easier school, as an adult. What I've realized though, schools like prep and prime, they start. They start I mean, most of them do it. I mean, but you don't know the parents at the moment. Like, yeah. No, but I take up the football. Go study your book. Exactly. No, but I go play ball. No, you go jog sports. Track up. Go take up your book. There's a balance. There's a balance. There's there a has balance. to be. Yeah. So yeah, that's my two things. Yeah. And the cooking. For the me, cooking definitely is the cooking. Yeah, that's my, 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 my call MV cup of tea in time. I mean, I should just like MV. That's the MV for every other call it for some weekend. Yeah. Right. No, no problem. And video call it all these things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, in the week, you just send me the ingredients. I'm going to go get them. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to call it the name right. of it. Chef in 303. Chef in With 303. DJ MV. Professional, professional profile. <clears throat> Number People, 10. Number 10. As I've been have a fantastic a weekend. We're gonna do it. We have 10 seconds left. No, bye bye. So, yes, people have, have a, a fantastic great weekend. weekend. Stay safe. Check out the fantastic IG page. Look for us on TikTok, YouTube. <laughs> have a fantastic weekend. Stay safe. We're gone. Bye. Jada, great presentation. Thank you. We're out. Three, lots and.